All right, so I've been using the Simpson GT2 hub, and this is the replacement. So this is the second video. So pretty much they were really quick to ship it out for the replacement, but the holdup pretty much was UPS thought this was a real racing item. So anything autom uh, automotive that gets imported in, there is paperwork that is needed, and there would be a fee as well. So it was sitting in the warehouse, just getting scanned every day. I had to call UPS up, let them know, hey, hey, this is pretty much just a gaming controller. Um, it is not for a real car, and it will not be used in a real car, and it, it couldn't be used in a real car. Um, so once I told them that, they released the item. Um, three days later, they released it through customs, and then it was delivered to me. So I've been using it for maybe two weeks, maybe a little bit over two weeks or so. But we're going to get a little closer so I can explain uh, something. Okay. So these right here, I don't believe they're inputs. I thought they were, but when I open up a set of Corsa, it shows 40 inputs, not 42. If these pushed in, that would be 42. But all 40 inputs are accounted for. And that is including the shifters. The shifters work fine. As you can hear, um, got a uh, extension running through there with my Simagic Quick Release to the ultimate. But yeah, I've been using this on iRacing. So on a competitive setting, grab two podiums. So that's that. So it can be used to really compete. Um, you know, everybody's fast on iRacing, it seems. Um, but yeah, I can't say anything other than that. Everything has been good. Um, no issues with it. No issues with it recognizing it as like number one device, nothing like that, because that would cause um, force feedback loss from my base. No issues with that. Uh, everything seems pretty clean. Uh, every game, it knows exactly what it is. The name pops up, Simpson um, GT Hub or GT2 Hub. Uh, but, yeah, that's it. Uh, I think for $170, it is an option, especially if you already have your quick release there. Uh, you don't need an extension like I put on here. You, you don't need that. You can just put the quick release right on there. So you don't need to do all that. So if you already got a quick release laying around, you're looking at 170 bucks here, and then you're good to go. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, you can drop them below. Um, yeah, if you like the video, like the video. Sorry it took so long for me to get this uploaded. Uh, it's kind of been hectic the last couple weeks, but I'm pushing through it. And until next time, guys.